Good evening, everyone. Welcome to class. Good evening, teacher. Welcome, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Well, I am having problems with my internet connection, so I hope we don't have any issues during the class. All right. Okay, welcome. You guys can hear me well now? Can you hear me well? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, teacher. teacher. Thank you. All right. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so tonight we are having the last class of our module. And we are going to work on some, ya está hirviendo, creo que ya está la pago. On some activities. All right. Okay, so we're going to be working on some activities. Okay. And we are going to follow an agenda. Okay. So what is the agenda tonight? The agenda is we are going to do a vocabulary and reading exercise okay we are going to talk about the module and then we are going to check our scores okay check final scores and finally we are going to take the ANSA verb evaluation okay so this is for the whole module. So these are the activities that we are doing during tonight's session, okay? So let's see. Okay, so for the first activity, let's work on some vocabulary. Here we go. Let's see. Okay, so we have some fruits. Okay, so we are going to do the easy vocabulary and let's see. I show you a picture and you tell me what you see. What is that? It's a apple. Okay, so the fruit. All right, very good. Apple. Let's continue. What is that? Can you tell banana. me? Banana. Banana. Exactly, very good. Okay. Let's get rid of this. Okay, what do you call that fruit? Coconut. All right, repeat with me. Coconut, coconut. 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 coconut, you see? Very good, very good. Okay, let's continue. All right, so what about what you see on the picture? What is that? Grapes. 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 Oh, okay, grapes. grapes in the plural form. Very good, grape the name. Now, what do you see? Kiwi. Kiwi. Okay, correct. Very good. It's the same pronunciation, please. Uh, yes, correct. We say kiwi. Yeah, it's the same. Okay. What about this one? Do you remember what we learned? All right, let's see. Okay, this one is lemon. And this one is? Lime, right? Lime. This, this one is color. What color is this one? Green. Green. Green, right? Very good. Very good. Okay. What about this one? Orange. 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 And this one is pineapple. 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 Very good. Pineapple. 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 Very good. Okay. Let's continue. These are 
strawberry. 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 Okay, let's listen. Strawberry. 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 Okay. Look, this is a letter W, so we need to say straw. Strawberry. 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 Exactly. Strawberry. Okay. Very good. Let's continue. What is that? Watermelon. 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 Very good. Okay, that was easy. Okay, let's see. All right, let's learn medium. Let's see. What are those? Raspberry. Blueberry. Do you remember the cell phones? Like blueberry. Oh, blueberry. Oh, blueberry. Blackberry. You see? Repeat with me. Ah, Blackberry. Blackberry. Mm -hmm. Blackberry. Blackberry. Mm -hmm. And blueberry <laughs> is other, right? Yeah, it's yes. it's different. Uh -huh. But this one is a blackberry. Okay. Uh, the end teacher and the raspberry. Oh, we're gonna see it. We will Probably. see it. We will see it in the picture in a minute. Okay, what are these? These are what color are, are they? What color are they? Purple. Blueberry. 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 Very good. Blueberry. Blueberry. So this one is a blueberry or in the plural form, blueberry. Okay. Okay. What is this one? Mellow. Mellow. Okay. And that's very good. Very good. And these are cherries. Cherries. Of course. All right. Cherries. Cherries. Cherries is the name, but in the plural form, we say cherries, cherries. right? Cherries. And okay, this one is different. Do you know these? Cranberry. Exactly. Very good. Cranberry. Very good. Very good. Have you ever tried cranberries? Have you ever tried cranberries? Have you ever eaten this fruit? No. Okay. Only a smell for the for the splash. Oh, okay. So you okay? So you have smelled perfumes, okay? Mm -hmm. So okay. So repeat with me. I have smelled. I have perfumes. I have smelled perfumes. And they are in the have perfumes and have for a splash. Oh yeah. It's always the, always the same. Oh yeah. It's well, it's different. You can say I have smell splashes. You can say splashes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's continue. What is this? Papaya. So I don't know. Is this the same, the same oh. sound? Yeah, it's the same one. Papaya. Papaya. Very good. Yeah. Do you like this fruit? Do you like it? Yes. yes I no. I like Yes. Why don't you like it? Why not? Why do you not like it? Maybe for the smell. So okay. okay. Rip it with me. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Because In my case, I like it better. <laughs> I, good. I like it because of it. Because? Now. Look. I don't uh -huh. like, it I because, don't like because, it. because of its smell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't like the smell, but the taste is good. Yes. Okay, and the name of this fruit is? Peach. Of course. Very good. Let's see. And what do you call this one? Pear. 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 Okay. Very good. Listen, listen to the way the man pronounces the name. Pear. 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 Listen. Pear. 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 Listen. Pear. 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 
pear. Okay. <clears throat> Do you like pear? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I like it. It is really good, right? All right, and now your question. Mm -hmm. All right, what are these? This is uh, the, the cranberry. We already know. Ros raspberry? Exactly, exactly. Raspberry. Ah, raspberry. This is raspberry. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Where, this is a question for you. Where can I, where can I buy raspberries? Here in El Salvador, where do you know? Mm, price mark. Price okay. mark. Okay, and if I don't have the price mark card, where can I go? Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. I I can uh -huh. go to El Boquerón, right? El Boquerón, yes. Uh -huh. Good, <laughs> exactly. And they are cheap. You know how much they cost at El Boquerón? One dollar and yeah, fifty cents. Exactly. They are so cheap. All right. What are these? Mandarin or, or, orange. Mandarin. Okay, mm. let's see. Mandarin. Ah, both answers are correct. So let's see what this audio says. Mm. Tangerine. Repeat with me. Tangerine. 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 Okay, tangerine is is tangerine. North American. North American. Tangerine. Tangerine. Exactly. And British. <clears throat> British English is Mandarin. Mandarin. Okay. That is British, but that is correct too. Okay. So the only difference is one is British and the other one is. North American. Okay, now we're doing the hard one. Let's see. Okay. Okay. We need. We need to see. We need to to determine the correct way to pronounce it. Right. So, okay. Listen to the way the men pronounce it. Listen. Okay. Avocado. Avocado. Uh -huh. No. Uh oh. Avocado. 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 Oh. The way the way avocado. the way you see it, the way you pronounce it. Avocado. 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 Okay. The same avocado. way you see it. Hmm? Avocado. Avocado. Exactly. Do you like it? Yes. 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 No. Like yes. No. Yes. <laughs> Are you serious? You don't like it? Why not? I feel like it's really easy that have a bad, bad, I don't know, sting. Oh. So I think you want to say <clears throat> it, it spoils. Easily. Rub it with me. It spoils easily. It spoils easily. Is this what you want to say? Sorry. Right. Yes. Like this. I don't remember if it's with a yes. little picture or without it. Okay, so one yeah. more time. Can you read one more time? Exploit easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, that's true. That is a bad thing about avocado and you know these or do you, you say granada <laughs> oh that one is different I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you know them but in different conditions mm -hmm. It's a fig. It's a fig. But I don't know how to say ah fig. Ah. Uh huh. Fig. One more time. Fig. Fig. Have you Ooh. have you ever tasted the Diana figs? Did you know that you can buy them? 
Diana, the brand, Diana, they have this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As candies. They are good. Okay. What about these? What do you call it? This is a guayaba. Okay. Guayaba. Good. Okay. Yes. The name in English is very similar. Look. Guava. guava. Exactly. Guava. Guava. It's similar. Right? Yeah. So, um, do you like guava? Yeah. Yes, I like it. Oh my, very good. I don't like the smell, but I know it's good. Let's see. And do you know these or this one here? Uh huh. It's like a licha. Um. Yeah. It's actually lychee. Very good. Lychee. Lich, ah, lich. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you know, look, look at this one. It doesn't have any, any hair. It's like this. So this one's lychee. Es una lychee perona. <laughs> yeah, the other one is rambutan. Look. Mm. You know rambutan? The other one is more common. Let me show you. Let me show you. Oh, shit. This one is Rambutan. Oh. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they are different. Yes. Okay. And what do you call this one? Mango. 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 Rub it with me. Mango. 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 Exactly. Very good. It's mango season now. Do you like mango? Yes. yes, I like. Of course, right? Okay, what's this one? Mm, one mm, no. <laughs> I'm not sure. So I don't think so. Passion mm. fruit. Granadilla. This one Granadilla. is a passion fruit. Passion fruit. Passion fruit. Mm -hmm. Passion fruit. Yeah. <laughs> Passion. Yeah, it has a funny name. All right, let's see. And what do you call this one? Plum. Oh, plum. Very good. It's plum <coughs> season two right now. Do you like plum? Yes. They're good, right? What is a good benefit of eating plums? What is good about eating plums? Do you know? For your stomach. For your stomach? What happens? What mm. happens when you eat plum? I don't know. He's saying that. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> <with me. laughs> uh huh. Um, you go to the bathroom. Oh. Uh -huh. Quickly. Quickly, right? Quickly. Yeah. Better. I know. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You could also say, yeah, that's perfect. You could also say, it makes you go to the bathroom. Can you repeat it for me? It makes you go to the bathroom okay exactly the bathroom. correct okay now this one what do you call it pomegranate yes all right rip it with me pomegranate 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 exactly Pama pomegranates are cheap or are expensive They are cheap or expensive? What do you think? Yes. So it's very rare this this fruit. Mm -hmm. So is it cheap or is it expensive? Expensive. It is right. It is very expensive. Yeah. 
Yes, it's expensive. How often do you eat pomegranate? In my case, I never eat pomegranate. What about you? You never eat? I, I never buy them, but I like them. It's oh, delicious. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Yeah. And this one is? Is that toronja? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Say the word. Grapefruit. 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 Exactly. Grapefruit. Have you ever tasted it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. Did you like it? No. Right. I didn't either. Okay. And what about this one? Huh. Okay, that's fine. But have you ever seen this fruit it's in El Salvador? Yeah. Yes, I have a I have a, a, a tree. <laughs> you have a tree. Okay. Yes. Good. Okay. Ooh, star fruit. The star fruit. Okay. Star fruit. Did you say mar maracuya or is different? Uh, no, that's the, the other one, passion fruit. Mar maracuya is passion fruit. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, very good. All right, so let's see. We're gonna is, is a carambola. Yeah, exactly. Oh, mm -hmm. carambola. Okay, now we're doing vegetables. Let's see. Beans. 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 Of course. This one? Broccoli. 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 Very good. Next. Carrot. Carrot. Exactly. Okay. These are very common. And this one is? Corn. Corn. Great. And lettuce. 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 Okay, lettuce. Let's, let's listen. Lettuce. 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 Okay. lettuce. Great. Lettuce. Uh -huh. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. Okay, let's listen. Mushroom. Like room. Mushroom. Mushroom. Mm -hmm. Mushroom. 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 Do you like mushrooms? Yes. 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 I like it. How do you like? Yes, I like it. Mushrooms. How do you like to eat them? In the pizza. Oh, in a pizza. pizza. Okay, very good. Anywhere else? Any other way? With chicken. Mm hmm Good. They are good. And these are... I say tuna, but I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Olive. Olives. Nice. Olives. Yeah, olives. Olive. Do you like olives? No. Yes, 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 no, I, like I like it. it. No. Yeah, no. they're good. Okay. Potato. Potato. Okay. And this one? Oh, oh no. no. Very good. Tomato. 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 Very good. Okay, let's do medium. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. Very <laughs> much. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I'm glad you know it. Okay. So in English, we call it beet. Beet. Beet, beet or beetroot. Beetroot. We can also beet call root. it beetroot. 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 Because it's a root. Beetroot. Oh, beetroot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And these are pepper. Pepper. Okay. Pepper. pepper. Okay. They are peppers, but they are um a particular type. Oh. Yes. Bell pepper. 
because they have different bell, colors. Bell pepper, yes. Bell pepper. Mm -hmm. Pepper. Very good. And this one is? I know you know it. Kale. Coal. It's similar. Coal. No. Oh. Okay. This one is? Cavish. Cavish. Yes, Cavish. Yeah. And these are? Pepper. Mm-hmm. Yes, a red pepper. Chili pepper. Chili pepper. But they are hot, they are spicy. So we call them chili pepper. Chili pepper. Chili pepper. Chili pepper. Okay, this one is? Cucumber. 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 Listen. Cucumber. 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 Great. Very good. Cucumber. Okay, that's one. Uh, Berenchina. Eggplant. What? Yes. <laughs> Eggplant. Hey. Yeah, it's a weird name. Do you eat eggplant? Do you ever yes, eat Yes, yeah. I love it. It's good. Yes, I, I like it. Mm -hmm. What about this one? Garlic. Garlic. Of course. Do Garlic. you like it? Yes. Yes, I like it. I love it. Garlic <laughs> when you when you have a flu. The flu, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> it is very good for remedies. Okay, and these are green beans. Yes. Yes. We can call them green pea, green bean beans, peas. or we can call them peas. 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 <clears throat> I like it in Sopa Maruchan. Okay. <laughs> yeah. They only give you two, right? Two teeth. Pumpkin. Uh, pumpkin? Mm -hmm. Yes, pumpkin. Very good. Do you ever eat pumpkin? Mm. No. Mm. No. Yes, I oh. Once a year? Halloween. On Halloween? Okay. <laughs> what about this one? What is it? Spinach. All right. Let's listen. Spinach. 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 Okay, spinach. 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 Mm -hmm. spinach. Do you like it? Yes. Yes. Okay. How do you eat it? In a soup. Oh, in soup? In soup, yes. Okay. That's great. Okay, we're doing the last one, the hard one. Uh huh. <laughs> Do you know them in Spanish? A cachofa. Okay, great. Okay. Uh, I, know. I, I don't. I don't. I don't know in the yeah. how to say in the in English. Okay, no problem. Let me show you. Artichoke. 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 Okay. Have you ever tasted artichoke? No. No. Me neither. No. Yeah. I never. I, I don't know it. And these are. Mm -hmm. Is a. Uh... It's similar in English. The name. It's similar. Asparagus. 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 Okay. Asparagus. We're going to say asparagus. 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 Do you eat asparagus? Yes. Yes. I like. I like. All right. Let's see. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Squash. 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 Okay. Squash for us are pipianes. Toda la familia de los pipianes se les llama squash. 
wash. Okay. 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 So, el pipián o el ayote, what we know as ayote. Squash. Mm -hmm. It's wow. different to pump, pump, pumping. Yeah. yeah. Let me show you. Okay, look. So this one, this one squash, you see. There are different types, but let's see. Look, this one. Here we have the type we use for pupusas, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And the one that we use for candy. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. So there are. Uh, is, it, is, it, mm -hmm. is family to um, zucchini? Oh, zucchini is zucchini in English, but yeah, they uh, are. Zucchini. They are. Yeah, they are part of the same family. They are like cousins. Mm -hmm. Yes, I exactly. see. Okay, let's see. All right, and then what's this one? <laughs> It's similar to, oh. to the way we call it in Spanish. Oh, cauliflower. <laughs> cauliflower. Cauliflower? Yeah. <laughs> cauliflower. Yeah. Um, hey, you say a red chick. <laughs> yeah, the other one doesn't work, but this one is similar. Okay, and this one? Okay, this one is? Celery. 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 Mm -hmm. Celery. Okay. Then, what is this one? Radish. 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 Yeah. Letter D. Radish. Radish. Do you like radish? Yeah. Yes, I like yeah. it. Yes, I like it. Okay, very good. Very good. That's nice. And what is that? Ginger. Of course. Ginger. That's ginger. Very good. What are some good things about ginger? Medicine. Good green with tea. With tea, okay. Medicine, okay. A medicine. Medicine for what? For oh, the, the flu. flu. Okay. Very good. Okay, and this one is? Okay. Arugula. Kale. Yeah. Kale. Kale. Oh. All right, this one's kale. All right, very good. Do you ever eat kale? No. 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 Okay. That's fine. Okay, and this one, do you know it in Spanish? Have you ever tried it? I I don't I don't remember the name, but mm -hmm. I I eat. You eat it? Yes. Okay, is it good? Yes, it's a it's a it's a good. Okay, look. Okra. 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 And the name. What is it? What is what is the name in, in the Spanish? The same name. Uh -huh. Okra. 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 Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's okra. Okra. I don't like it. Uh -huh. Because if it, it's too slimy. I don't like it. What about this one? Zucchini. Yeah, you said it. Zucchini. Zucchini. Very good. Okay. So, why are we speaking about food? Because we are going to read a little. Okay. So, I have a reading over here. Okay. And for the reading, I need you to have pen and pencil. Do you have pen and pencil right now? Yes. 
Yes, it's okay. So let me let me show you the instructions. Okay. So I want to read for you. Okay. Only one time. All right. So so I will read the first time. Okay. But when when I read, okay. Your job is to <laughs> what do you have to do? Take notes. Mm -hmm. Of what? Of vocabulary. New vocabulary. Exactly. New vocabulary. What does it mean? New word. Okay. If you see a new word, you write it. Are we okay? Yes? Okay. okay. Very good. So this is what you have to do. Why? Because when I finish reading, you have to ask me about new words, okay? So you have to ask me about the words that you have. Are we okay? Yes? What do you have to do? I'm going to read. What do you have to do? Mm -hmm. Here and find new words and ask me. Great. Okay. I'm going to mute your microphones right now. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, before, but before we start, um, let's see. I need you to open your microphone before I start reading. Okay. Let's see. I am going to show you. A picture. Okay. And I want to ask you. Do you know? Do you know this place? What place is this? Can you tell me? Mexico. Mexico. Ah, it's Mexico. Okay. What do you know about Mexico? Can you tell me? What do you know? Tacos. Mexico is a country. Mexico is a country. Tacos. Okay. What What are they tacos? Have excellent food. Great. Mm -hmm. What else can you tell me? It's a capital of Mexico. Oh. Great. Okay. Anything else? They like the spicy food. Exactly. Exactly. Anything else? What type of food do they eat? Can you tell me? Tacos, tortas, mm -hmm. tamales. Oh, uh -huh. Very good. Okay, that's good. And, mm -hmm. and do you know any... Do you know any traditions from Mexico? Do you know any traditions? The people celebrate uh, um, the day of the... Mm -hmm. The dead. The dead, the, the dead yes. Uh -huh. yes. Very good. Okay, that's nice. What else do they celebrate? What else? They adore the... <laughs> Fans and say, yeah. Ando la no sé cómo se dice. Okay, let me help you. They worship. They worship death. La Santa Muerte. Uh -huh. Or you can call la Santa Muerte. You can call it that way. So repeat with me. They worship. They worship. They worship. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right. Exactly. Okay. Uh, teacher, one question about the uh, 
and this, um, for example, as you know, I say the moment, uh, Memorial Day mm -hmm. is the same for the um, for the words with death. Um, no, Memorial, I understand that Memorial Day is for veterans. Oh. Uh, war veterans. Let me see. Memorial Day. It was this past Monday. So let's see. Well, my yeah. internet doesn't work well, but give me a second. I'll Google it from my phone. Memorial Day. Okay. Yeah, it's for it's for people who died in mm -hmm. during war. Okay. Celebration. Let's let's okay. Is the American holiday? Yeah. It is in honor to men and women who sacrificed their lives serving the United States military. So yeah, it's for veterans, war veterans. See, let me send you a message. For the worship death, is the, the word correctly for the other countries of the, of the Central America? Mm -hmm. Yes, oh, okay. um, mm -hmm. exactly. I think they, they don't celebrate, they don't have a celebration similar to what we celebrate in Central America. So it's different. Okay, very good. So we're going to speak about Mexico, okay? This reading is called communal table. You see, communal table. So get ready because i will read for you and you have to take notes of the new words that you see okay here we go okay a special meal a special meal milpa alta is a region is a region to the south of Mexico City. It has a famous volcano, Teutli, and 12 villages, villages and towns. And towns. Milpa Alta is also famous for a traditional, a traditional meal every Christmas called La Rejunta. The meal is part of the Christmas celebrations and it's Feeds, it feeds huge, huge numbers of people. The cooks make about, you see, the cook makes about thousand, sorry, the cook makes about 60, 60,000 tamales. Tamales are made from corn and have different fillings and have different fillings. They also make about 15,000 liters of hot chocolate. They make all of this food and drink in less than one week. The meal is one of the activities for people who go on a walk, who go on a walk to the cave to the cave of El Señor de Chalma. It's an important place, it's an important place for people from the region, region at Christmas. The cave, the cave is about 80 kilometers, 80 kilometers away and the walk begins on the 3rd January. About 20,000 people go on the walk each year. That's 20,000 hungry people. Hungry. 
every year the organizers, the organizers of the meal change, change. This year, Virginia Mesa Torres and her husband, Fermin Lara Jimenez, are the organizers or majordomos. They waited for 13 years to do this. Lots of people want to organize. Lots of people want to organize the meal because it's a very important tradition. They put their names on a list. At the moment, the list has names for every year until, until 2046. This is the last block of information. The preparation for the meal takes a whole year, takes a whole year. At the start of the year, men collect wood from the forest. They store it, they store it near the home of the majordomos so that it will be dry, so that it will be dry and ready to use. The wood burns in the fires that they use to cook the food. The farmers in the area grow the ingredients, grow the ingredients for the meal, such as, such as corn, meat, and vegetables. Everything is natural. There's no ready-made food. There's no ready-made food. Lots of volunteers, lots of volunteers help to cook and serve the meal. Serve. Tradition is very important to the people of Milpa Alta. And one of the most important activities is eating together. One woman, Josefina Garcia Jimenez, says, listen, says, okay, says that sitting together at the table shows love to your family. Everybody stays, everybody stays at, at the table after the meal finishes, finishes, and they talk. They, sorry, and they talk, tell stories, tell stories and laugh, and laugh together at Christmas. La Recunta is like a huge, it's like a huge family meal. Okay, so you can write in the chat, okay, this is the time for questions. You can Send me a message in this chat with the new words, okay? Ask me about the words that you want to know, okay? Let's see. We need to know the words because we are going to read in groups, okay? So let's see. Okay, huge, very good, okay. Huge is something enormous, enormous, okay? All right, that is huge. Very good. Okay, very good. Okay, let's start with the word feelings. Okay, let's see. Okay, let me share my screen. Okay, for example, we have cake. Okay, so what is the cake filling that you see here? Cake filling, what is it? Can you tell me? Filling is a product that is inside. So what is the cake oh. filling? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lleno. 
exactly. Okay, so what is the filling here? Can so you tell me? For the fruit. Okay, yeah. So what fruit Strawberry. Is it? Yeah. Strawberry. Strawberry? Okay, case. one more time. Straw. Strawberry. Strawberry. Straw. Strawberry. Oh, very good. Okay, that's the filling. Okay, what's the Straw. filling here? Berry. What's the filling here? Strawberry. Uh uh. Raspberry. Yes, oh. correct. Okay. Raspberry. What is the filling? Let's see. Let's let's scroll down. Okay. What's the filling here? What's the filling here? Blueberry. Blueberries. Okay. Very good. Okay. So this is cake. Okay. So let's change it for. Let's see. Tamales. Ah, let's change it for tamales. Very good. So let's say tamal, tamal fillings. Let's see. Tamale. Yeah, because it's Mexican. For us, it doesn't have an E, right? Okay. So, for example, what's this tamale filling? Pork. Um, exactly. Very good. And this one, what's the filling here? Cheese. Cheese. Cheese, right? Mm -hmm. So, different fillings. Are we okay? Oh, fillings is fill. Fill. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it comes from fill. I got it. Like this. Uh huh. Very good. Yes. Glad. Okay. Now I can see the word hall. Okay. Hall, right? Okay. Hall is similar to the word all. All. Very good. Exactly. It's similar to all. Okay. So, hall is similar to saying all. So, for example, if I say the whole family. If I say the whole family, it is similar to saying what? All family. All family. All the family. So in Spanish, is toda, toda la familia. Exactly. It's similar to saying all the family. So if I say the whole year, for example, if I say the whole year, it is also possible to say? Yeah. Huh? What is also all possible? All the all family, all the all the year. Uh huh. All the year. So, the whole year or all the year. All right? the year. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, okay. So we are looking for the verb feed now. Yes. Hello. Uh, how is uh, some uh, mass uh, mass come uh, mass not. Not, not people. Um, actually, this is the meaning. Let's see. Do you see the chat? Let's see. Okay, okay. Do you see it? Yeah. Yes. So that's why we can have, for example, we can have whole milk. Do you drink whole milk? You see? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yes. that is the exact meaning. Okay. Now we're looking for the verb feed. Okay. Feed food. Feed babies, let's say. Okay. What does it mean to feed a baby? What is the meaning in English? What is the meaning of give, feed? Give food. Give, give food. Giving. Ah, so you can feed babies. What else can you feed? You can feed pets. Yeah. Feed pets. What else can you feed? Is like alimentar. Exactly. That's the action. Feed okay. people. Feed people, right? Look. Like this, right? Okay. Great. Do you see another word that you have a question of? Uh-huh. Are we okay? Ask your questions now because we're going to read.
Okay, I can see the chat right now and another word is wood. Okay, we're gonna look at a picture. Okay. Wood, do you see wood? Yes? Yes, teacher. Do you have wood at home? No. Yes. No. No? Okay. Okay. Okay, do you remember the meaning of huge? Huge. Huge. Or do you know a synonym for huge? Big. Big. Very big, right? Very, very big. Okay. Lots of people. Okay. Do you remember the meaning of lots? Yes? So, lots of people, for example. Lots of people. Um, lots of what? Lots of fruit. Okay, we're gonna look at it. Ah, so lots of food. You said lots of. Oh, Oops. lots of. What else do you want to see? Lots of what? Uh huh. Fruit. Okay, lots of fruit. Lots of. People, lots of what? Lots of uh, mm -hmm. so. One more time? Mm -hmm. so. Okay, and what did you say, Alexander? Animals. Animals. Okay. Okay, lots of, of cats here, like in my neighborhood. Or lots of. Okay. Lots of animals. Okay, so it is a big number, lots of, a big number, okay. All right, <laughs> okay, ready, made. Do you see it? Okay. Ready made what? Hmm. Ready made food. Okay. Look. Ready made food. Ah. Do you like ready made food? Ready made food? Or not? Mm. Can you? Similar. It's similar. Ready made food is food that you can prepare mm. quickly. For example, look. Uh -huh. Maruchan is ready made food. Uh -huh. What else? What else? Mm -hmm. mm. It seems, or frozen food. Frozen food is ready-made food. Okay. All right. This only, this only needs microwave. Exactly. Tuna? Tuna is ready-made food, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. You don't need to do much to eat it. So. Okay, there is a word that I think you didn't see, okay? And the word is cave. Repeat with me, cave. Do, cave. You know, do you know the name of a cave here in El Salvador? Huh? Cueva. The name of a cave here in El Salvador. Mm. No? La Puerta del Diablo. Oh, yeah, I think that's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is a meal? Okay. 
a meal. Let's see. Ah, uh, how many meals are there in a day? Three. What are those three meals? We have? Breakfast, lunch, and mm -hmm. dinner. Okay, there we go. So those are three meals. Ah, uh, meals can change. For example, today's meal is this, and okay, and maybe, maybe tomorrow's meal is this. So meals change. They are different every day. Are we okay? Yes? Okay. Or do you eat the same food every day? Do you eat the same every day? No. No, right? Yeah. So your meals change. Every Only day. pupusas. <laughs> oh, that's for breakfast. Only for breakfast, right? Okay, very good. Okay, so now accept the invitations and I want to hear you read, okay? I want to hear you read. Here we go. Okay, accept the invitations and I want to hear you reading in groups. Here we go. Okay, uh, you can see. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, Maybe we can do paragraph R4. Let me see. But we are five, but I don't know if all can read. Okay. Um, who starts? I can start. Okay, okay. Milpa, Milpa Alta is a region uh, to the south of Mexico City. It has a famous volcano, the, the Hutli, and 12 villas and towns. Milpa Alta is also famous for a traditional meal every Christmas called La Regenta. The meal is a party of the Christmas celebrations and it fills hundred number of people. The cooks make about 60,000 tamales. The tamales are made from corn and have different fields. They also make about 15,000 liters of hot chocolate. They make all of these food and drinks in less than one week. The meals is one of the activities for people who own on a walk to the cabbage of El Señor de las Chalmas. It is an important place for people from the region of 
regional of Christmas. The cable is about 18 kilometers away and the walk begins on the 3rd of January, about 20,000 20, 20, people go on, go on the walk each year. That's 12,100 20, people. Hungry people. One more time. Hungry people. Hung, hungry people. Okay. <coughs> Repeat for me over here. Cave. 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 Okay. Very good. And then here we say region. 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 Exactly. Very good. Okay. You can continue. Okay. Um, second part or 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 other other reading. Next part. Okay. Uh, I I read um, every year the organizers of the meal change. This year, Virginia, Virginia Mesa Torres and her husband, Fermin Lara Jimenez, are the organizers or mayordomos. They waited for 14 years to do this, to do this, to do this. Lots of people want to organize the meal because it's a very important tradition. They put their names on a list. At the moment, the list has name for every year until 2046. The preparation for the meals takes a whole, whole, a whole year. At the start of the years, main collect wood from the forest. They store it near the home of the mayordomos so that it will be dry and ready to use. The wood burns in the fires that they use to cook the food. The farmer, farmers in the area grow the ingredient, ingredients. For the meal, such as a core, meat and vegetables, everything is natural. There's, there's not ready made food. Lots of volunteers have to cook and serve the meal. Uh, finish. I finish. Good. Okay. One more time. Okay, tradition is very important to the people of 2046. The preparation for the meal takes a full year. At the start of the year, men collect wool from the forest. They store it near the home of the mayordomo so that it will be dry and ready to use. The wool burns in the fires that they use to cook the food. The farmers in the air grow the ingredients for the milk, such as corn, meat, and vegetables. Everything is natural. They are not really milk food. Lots of volunteers help to cook and serve the meals. Tradition is very important to the people of Nipalta. And one of the most important activities is eating together. One woman, Josefina Garcia Jimenez, said that sitting together at the table showed love to your family. Everybody stay at the table after the meal finish and they talk, tell histories and laugh together. At Christmas, the junta is like a whole, whole family meal. All right, let me help you. A huge, a huge, huge. huge. <laughs> Very good, very good. Yeah. Huge. Miss. 
-hmm. In the, in the, the word burns. Ah, mm -hmm. yes. Go to Google, go to the images. Wow. Go to Google images right now. Okay. Let's do it together. Okay. And Google wood burns like that with letter S. Okay. Enter it. Okay. Pictures. Wood, oh, R N S B U R N S. Yeah. The first search. Uh -uh. No. The first search. La primera búsqueda on the list. Yeah. Uh-uh. Okay, go back to the search bar. Okay, like that. Burns. Oh. The wood burns. You burns, see that? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Very good. It's like a... Uh, 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 I forgot. I just forgot. It's exactly what it says there. La madera oh, okay. se quema. Wood burns in the fire. Oh, okay. You see? Mm -hmm. Okay. The other word? Huch. 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 Huge. Yeah, we say huge. Huge. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is the synonym of huge? Do you remember? Huge. Yeah. It means very, very what? Very, very? Very big, very big, family. Very big, right? Very, very big. So we can say big families or huge families. It's the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Huge. Hello, did you finish reading? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, very good. I have some questions for you. Ready? Hello, hello. Do I have your attention? Are you ready? Yeah, teacher. Okay. Question number one. Can you read it for me? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. What's the answer? The meal. Ah, the meal. Uh -huh. the meal. Tamales. Tamales. What is the name of the meal? The celebration. The meal. La rejunta. Exactly. Okay, and what is milpa alta? What is milpa alta? South of America. Okay, so Milpa Alta is a uh, what? Region. Region to the south, south of Mexico City. city. It's a traditional. Is it, is it a tradition or, or is it a region? A region. A re region. It's a, it's re a region. A region. Okay, very good. Okay, good. My next question is. All right, I'm going to type it and you read it. Can you read it for me? Okay, can you give me the answers? What do they eat? Tamales. Tamales. 
Just tamales. In hot and chocolate. With chocolate. Hot, chocolate. Hot. hot chocolate. Okay, that's nice. All right. Anything else? No, that's fine. Okay. Next question. Okay, next question is, you are doing good. Very good. Okay. Um, okay, this is about duration. Okay. Can you tell me? Can you read it for me? How long does the preparation mm -hmm. take? Mm -hmm. Less than one week. A whole week. A whole year. Okay, a whole week or a whole year? Mm, the preparation for the solution. A whole year. A whole year. A exactly. whole year. It's a very big tradition. Okay, very good. Okay. So, next question is, all right. Can you read it for me? Who are the organ, organizers of the Organizers of the meal. Orga, sorry. Orga. Organizer. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, the meal. Who? Virginia Mesa. Virginia Mesa. Doris with S. And her husband, you said, what's his name? Fermin. Fermin Lara. Fermin Lara. Great. Very good. Okay. This is good. This is good. Okay. Now the next question is, okay, get ready. Um, we are speaking about Virginia and Fermin for the next question. Okay. And this is the last question. Okay. Fourteen years. Oh. They waited uh -huh. for fourteen years. Mm. For fourteen years. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. Can you wait for fourteen years to no. to no. do something? No. Oh. It's too much, right? This is yeah. incredible. Okay. You guys did a great job. Very good job for this activity. All right. Very good. Okay. So let me send you a picture. Um, and you can read the text later. Do it again. Read the text tomorrow. Read the text on the weekend. This is good for you. Read it and listen to yourself reading. This is good. Okay. Very good. Now, okay, so we finished our reading comprehension activity. Okay, so the next activity is to, to do speaking. Okay, let's talk about the module. Okay, we are finishing tonight and I want you to discuss these questions with your classmates. Okay, I am going to send you two pictures. Okay, and you have to answer the questions okay speaking only all right this is a discussion okay so let's accept the invitations one more time okay and here we go okay i want to hear you speak it okay this is what you have to do all right accept the invitations and complete the two pictures okay here we go
Hi, Hi. Hi. Oh, okay, I have a problem for share my screen. But we um we read the the, the question and and answer. Okay. okay. Um answer the questions. What two things do you learn this model? Maybe I think uh, we practice we practice we practice uh about the present perfect. Okay. It is very important because the uh, we we use different verbs and we uh, I don't know why you say conjugate conjugation I don't know uh, the verb. Conjugated. Conjugator. Okay, conjugator. Uh, uh, different verbs. Okay. Uh, uh, verbs, regular and uh, irregular verbs and past simple. Uh, something. For example, uh, in your list, let me think. Um. Uh, how to use a uh, should, shouldn't, yes, should, could. I don't, I don't, I, 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 I learned how to use. Yes, I use the should. What is the killing me? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> uh, I see like above. Ah, I see like above. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. Um, let me see. And what about you? Um, the same. For example, when you say um, under the weather or Tip top shape is new for me. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, right. Yeah. It, oh, oh, when it you use funny. the the word killing me, when you when you have a stomach or a headache. Only that. Okay. What about you, Osmaro? For me, uh, I like to to phrases. Uh, can afford to. Can mm -hmm. afford to. Um, it's a it's a sick as though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. It's very new for me. In in the words in the correct form, for example, I always say. Signs, but it's saints. Yes, in Proverbs. In Proverbs. Uh huh. For the verbs too. Um, improve is a uh, como mejorar. Yes, to do better. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 
uh, what do you do thing you need to do to continue continue improve your English? In my case, um, I practice uh, I uh, I practice the I listening more. I sing. I sing the song in English. Yes. Uh -huh. it's, or listening the music in English. It's more mot motivation for me. Yes. Mm -hmm. The movies too, and listen the the pronunciation of the words. But the 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 continue improving. Um, can I do um the practice? The practice. Okay. Uh, for me, I I lose the scared when I speak in English. Maybe. <laughs> um. Only that. Okay. For me, um. I like the I I love the the fear the I speak. Um, I improve in the talk about for for me or the other thing with my, mm -hmm. with the classmate is very good the the exercise for the teacher. Yes, I think so. Okay, <laughs> what do you think you need to do to continue improving your English? Ah, very interesting question. <laughs> <laughs> well, in my case, um, for to do continue improving, my English is a practice and um, practice conversation conversation with other person uh, the different uh, topic um, for yeah I think we need to to practice more more practice more more practice yeah and I think uh, we read uh, is very important too yeah I I think uh, in my case uh, uh, I, I try, think to be try to lose the the, the fear to talk to other people because it, I think we we can be more fluent 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 mm -hmm. fluent uh, see uh, no reading conversation and reading text in English. Yeah. yeah. And, and I think we, we need to change uh, the idioms in the phone, maybe. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and, and. Here in here uh, and and speak to uh, more more practice. Yes. Yes, it's more more practice. Okay. The next question: What do you see? What do you think you need to do to continue improving your English? Okay. We use. Uh, talking uh, about this <laughs> this question yeah yes yes i i agree i uh, we we need to 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 learn or we well, no, we need to practice uh, for uh, improve english 
Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, in my case, for example, I need I need more practice uh, real uh, here uh, 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 speak. Yes. Uh, I, I need more practice. Yes, miss. Hello. I have a question. No, 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 sorry. No, it's not it's not question. It's a um um why mm -hmm. when I, I hear you I understand all words mm -hmm. uh, uh words uh you say mm -hmm. but when I try to speak I don't I don't remember anything. It's normal. It's normal. Um, yeah, it's normal. You will stop doing that uh, the more you practice. So the same thing will happen many times. And that's why you need to practice. You see? Okay. Because, but I, I, <clears throat> I uh, watch a, a series in Netflix. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In English, okay, and uh, and sometimes I I I don't put uh, subtitles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand. Exactly. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what normal. What happens in there? Yeah, ah, okay. uh, I'm going to explain something in Spanish. Um, okay, it's not es completamente normal. Lo que sucede es que toda todo idioma que usted aprende tiene tiene habilidades. Esta es la habilidad del speaking, la habilidad del listening, la del writing y la del reading. Entonces, esas cuatro actividades o habilidades hay que, hay que practicarlas, las cuatro. Entonces, es por eso que a veces usted va a conocer que alguien escucha mejor de lo que habla o escribe mejor de lo que escucha. Mm -hmm. o habla mejor de lo que escucha y escribe. Entonces, right. esas, esas habilidades hay que practicarlas, hay que darlas duro, como se dice comúnmente. Y la del speaking, <coughs> eh, usted va a cometer los mismos errores varias veces. Usted se va a equivocar y usted va a decir, ay, ¿por qué dije eso? Si yo sabía cómo se decía bien a la puchica, dice uno, oh, ah, la próxima. Entonces, hay que seguir practicando hasta que uno se acostumbre a decir las cosas bien. Es parte del proceso. Entonces, eh, lo primero es identificar cuando uno comete errores al hablar. Usted dice, ay, no, eso no era así. Esto se decía de otra manera. Ah, o esta persona lo dice de esta forma y así lo tengo que decir yo. Entonces, los escenarios en los que usted se va poniendo, en los que usted va hablando, tratar de explicar las cosas, tomarse el tiempo y tratar de explicar las cosas eso es lo que va eh, erradicando los errores que tenemos. Por ejemplo, si usted entiende muy bien una película o una serie, repita lo que dice la gente, repítalo, repítalo. Pause la, pause la serie y escuche la frase y trate de repetirla así como la repiten las personas que están ahí. De esa, okay. forma, de esa forma se va destrabando la lengua, es como decir un trabalenguas. Entonces, así usted se va acostumbrando a las frases y así, poquito a poquito, ya usted va a ir explicando las cosas de mejor manera. Pero es ponerse en el escenario. Eh, ok. Por eso es que es bueno leer en voz alta. Si usted lee, usted se escucha y usted dice, ah, estoy pronunciando como yo escuché que esta otra persona lo, lo leyó o lo estoy pronunciando mal. Entonces, ahí usted va practicando la manera en la que en la que pronuncia y también se va adaptando a esa habilidad de hablar. Entonces, es un proceso. Es un proceso y es normal que cuando nosotros queremos explicar algo nos cueste mucho más de lo que lo entendemos. Ok. Uh -huh. So that's normal. Te uh -huh. echar una pregunta. Disculpa uh -huh. que esté hablando en español. Pero, no problem. Um, um, eh, yo la dificultad yo, yo, de las cuatro habilidades que usted mencionó, uh -huh. 
la que más se me dificulta a mí es el oído. Sí. Es el oído. Porque yo siento que muchas veces quizás la pronunciación, porque a mí me gusta escuchar música mucho, okay. música en inglés. Uh -huh. Y de hecho, yo la, yo la canto, la música en inglés. Ok, muy bien. Y a veces siento yo que escucho, me escucho, y como que si pronuncio bien. Pero, uh -huh. pero el, un, como un consejo, uh -huh. cómo mejorar el oído, porque a mí me cuesta muchas veces claro. las conversaciones, el audio, un audio, por ejemplo. Sí, muy bien. Fíjese que yo cuando... Cuando estaba estudiando, el listening era lo peor para mí. Yo decía, nunca lo voy a mejorar. Sí. Pero, pero, eh, por ejemplo, yo he notado que si usted ve una serie, por ejemplo, como decía Luis, usted póngale los subtítulos en inglés para que usted los pueda ver. Entonces, usted va a entender qué es lo que está sucediendo porque va a estar viendo lo que las personas hacen y también va a estar leyendo lo que las personas dicen. Y ahí, eso es listening. También hay sitios en, en internet en donde usted puede hacer ejercicios de, de listening y primero usted trate de escuchar el audio y escriba las palabras que usted cree que identificó. Y después, después de que usted haya hecho ese ejercicio, busque la transcripción del audio y vuelve a escuchar el audio ya leyendo la conversación. Y luego, después de eso, usted trate de pronunciar la conversación así como usted la escuchó en el audio. Esos ejercicios van a irnos haciendo que nos adaptemos a mejorar el listening. Otra, otra cosa que tenemos que hacer para mejorar el listening es leer. ¿Por qué? Porque cuando usted lee, ahí hay vocabulario. Entonces, el problema del listening es que no podemos entender lo que no sabemos. Entonces, si hay muchas palabras que no conocemos, eh, por ende, no, no lo vamos a entender. Entonces, eh, el listening va de la mano con el reading. ¿Por qué? Porque si yo mejoro mi vocabulario, me va a ser mucho más fácil identificar ese vocabulario en los diferentes audios que yo escucho para poder practicar. Todo ah, va de la mano. Uh -huh. okay. Pero ya les voy a pasar un enlace en donde hay listenings de nivel principiante en donde pueden encontrar los scripts. Ah, para okay. que puedan hacer la práctica. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ok, gracias. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, okay. you. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. Thank you, Miss. All right, let's go back to the main session. Yeah. It's almost time to finish. It's almost time. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Miss. All right, welcome back to the main session. All right, we almost finish, okay? Just wait a minute. Um, here is, here is a link to practice listening, okay? We are discussing the question, what can you do to improve your listening, okay? This is something you can do. Okay. We are going to go to ESL Lab here to Randall's ESL Cyber Listening. I'm going to share the link, okay? But I want to show you what we can find over here, okay? Okay, let me, let me say a few things in Spanish. Okay, eh, en este sitio ustedes pueden practicar el, la, el, la habilidad de la escucha. Okay, entonces esta es la página, este es el, el, el sitio y aquí le pueden dar clic en donde dice Listening Activities y aquí están los tipos. Entonces acá ustedes pueden comenzar con Easy, ¿verdad? Le dan clic acá en Easy. Y le va a dar diferentes audios, vea, diferentes situaciones. Cada color azul acá es un enlace. Entonces, ustedes entran, entremos al, a Day at School, por ejemplo. Entonces, aquí bajo y 
vamos a ver. Y aquí está el listening. Vale, entonces, usted puede escuchar primero sin saber qué es lo que dice. Escuche y trate de escribir las palabras que usted identifica. Y ya luego, la segunda vez que usted lo vaya a escuchar, aquí abajo, vea. Vamos a ver. Aquí está esta caja. Usted la ve que dice, sí, listening transcript. Muy bien, aquí podemos ver qué es lo que dice la, el ejercicio de listening, vea. Ah, la conversación. Ajá, ahí está la conversación. Entonces ahí está lo que dicen las personas y usted va bajando y aquí lo puede ir escuchando a medida que usted lo va leyendo. Entonces, eh, después de usted haberlo escuchado y ver qué palabras usted pudo entender del ejercicio, usted puede tratar de decirlo. De decirlo así como lo escucha, como si usted estuviera remedando, digamos, a las personas en el audio. Y esto es una muy buena práctica. Muy bien, otra cosa para mejorar el listening es ver películas de niños. Películas de niños, por ejemplo. A mí me gusta recomendar mucho la película de Coco con el subtítulo en inglés. Porque esa es una película que al nivel en el que estamos ya la podemos entender. Y bueno, y si usted ya la vio en español... Véale en inglés y va a ver que es bastante entendible y que usted maneja ese vocabulario. Y también va a ver que hay vocabulario nuevo y que también es fácil de entender. Entonces, eh, estas actividades podemos hacerlas. Um, también podemos ir al internet. Y aquí hay también un canal que es para niños que se llama English Sing Sing. Vamos a ver. Ya les voy a pasar esos enlaces. Bueno, y ese tiene conversaciones para niños, pero créanme que para nosotros son muy beneficiosas. Entonces, eh, cuando tengan su tiempo libre, por curiosidad, vean las conversaciones que eh, se van desempeñando acá. Este es el canal, ya les voy a pasar el enlace. Y ahí podemos eh, mejorar el listening. Les comentaba a algunos compañeros que para mejorar el listening también hay que leer. Porque cuando usted lee, usted encuentra vocabulario nuevo. Y lo ideal que usted tiene que hacer cuando usted encuentra vocabulario nuevo es eh, buscarlo, buscar qué significa y tratar de hacer ejemplos con ese nuevo vocabulario. English. Ok. Para que usted pueda ayudarle a su memoria y se pueda forzar a usted mismo a ayudar ese nuevo, a, perdón, a usar ese nuevo vocabulario que usted está aprendiendo. Así que ahí les dejo esos dos enlaces para que puedan practicar. Do you have any questions for me? No? Are we okay? I know you want to go. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I know. I understand. It's totally fine. Okay. So, okay, these are your scores. These are your final scores of the module. Okay. También se pueden comprar un libro para, para niños en inglés. That is a good thing too. Okay, so these are your scores. Check your scores right now. Check your scores right now. Okay, and if you have questions, ask me. Miss. Tell me. In English or in Spanish? Um, English. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why my name is is in in yellow? Oh, maybe because um you are not officially enrolled in the group. But you will be enrolled in the next module. That's what I understand. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> I misspelled it. Uh, can you check the chat? Chat. Uh, uh, uh. 
Do you remember if they told you something about it? Uh, okay. I think that's why, but that's not a problem. That is not a problem. Next module, you will be officially, officially enrolled. Uh, okay, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's not a problem. Okay, so are we okay with your scores? Are we okay? Yes, teacher. Do you have any questions? Okay, very good. Okay, so the last thing, the last thing to do is the insufferent evaluation, okay? Let's go to, okay, I'm going to send you a link right now. Where is it? Okay, it's here. Okay, so click on the link there and wait for my instructions. Wait a little. Okay, so I'm going to give you the order number. Okay. It starts with OI29751. And then the name of the event is Inglés Principiante Modulo 5. That is the official name. Let me share it in the chat. Okay, and then the dates of the module are these, April 27th to, oh, no, wait a minute. Not this one. Let's change it. Okay, so this one is April 27th to May 31st. This is the correct information. May 31st. Okay, this is okay. Okay, and all right, I think that now, okay, and then we need this, the schedule. The schedule is from 8 to 10. Okay, so here we go. Okay. So I want to show you how to complete the survey. You have to send me a picture, okay? Send me a picture of your, of your evaluation. De esta evaluación que vamos a hacer ahorita, necesito que me ponga la captura de que ya la envió con su nombre, okay? When you complete it. All right. So let's see. Okay, so this one is... O I two nine, it's this one, you see? Two nine seven five one. Okay. And all the other numbers that you see there. Then your full name. Number three, your email address. Number four, your phone number. Number five, your gender. Number six, your department. There is a list. So you select your department. Number seven, the municipality of your residence. Okay, what is the municipality? So Yapango. Let's see. All right, maybe. And uh, then number eight, your workplace. Ah, the place where you work. Number nine, okay, number nine, look. Number nine is speak. Are we okay? Number nine, speak, okay. Number 10, the course name. What is the name of the course? English. Uh-huh. What is the name of the course in number 10? Modulo 5. Okay, very good. And then you read. Read the criteria. Okay. Um, in number 15, for example, if you want to take an Excel course, el 15 si usted quiere tomar otro curso de otros temas, por ejemplo, de mecánica, un curso de Excel, Un curso de cocina, usted lo puede poner acá. Okay. And they will send you information. 
Okay, uh, comments, if you have comments, write the comments. If you don't have comments, don't write anything. And then click on send and send me a picture. Um, Osmaro is the first one to complete it. Thank you, Osmaro. Okay, so I'm going to wait for your pictures, okay. And then I have Alonso, okay. Thank you. Oh, Claudia. Mm -hmm. Brenda. Okay, Lisette, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pamela. Mm -hmm. Mariela. <clears throat> Erika, Stephanie, Abigail. <laughs> Madeline. Miguel. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, I have Javier as well. Javier Yvette. Brenda, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, Gabriela Edenilson. Okay, the people who finished their evaluations, you can go. It was nice meeting you. You are a great group and I hope to see you again in the future. Okay, so take care. If you finished the evaluation, you can go, okay? So the ones who are still doing the survey, send me a picture, okay? And then you can go. Thank you, teacher for all. Welcome, my pleasure. Thank you, thank teacher. you, teacher. Right. Thank, thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. See you later. I hope to see you again Bye. too. Bye. 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 Good evening, everybody. Bye. Good evening. Take care. Thank Enjoy you, your teacher. good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Miss. Tell me. Thank you for your for you. Uh, for your passions oh you're welcome for your passions and your time oh and i and i hope uh, uh, to see you again see you again me too i hope to see you again <laughs> soon hopefully okay all right take care okay okay bye 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 have a good one Thank bye you. You're welcome.
Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Oh. Take some rest. You're welcome. Teacher. Tell me. I can say this. Is... Oh, you cannot send it. Let's see. No. no. Okay. That's fine, Rosa. You completed it, right? Yes. I okay. Can do. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to... I'm going to mark your name here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you for all, teacher. Welcome. My pleasure. Bye bye. Thank you, Cici. You're welcome. Jacqueline, Carlos. Good evening. Good night, teacher. Oh, good night. Bye bye. Teacher, sorry. Yes. Uh, can you share the, the links for practice the English in WhatsApp oh. group? It's there. Ah, okay. It's before the. Um... Yeah, I'll send it again. Let's see. Do you see them? Do you see the links? Yes. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. Uh, I finished, teacher. You finished? Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for, for thank you for your time. My pleasure. Thank you for being here. It is not possible okay. to do this without you. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Take care. I finished. Good night. You too. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for everything. You're welcome. I hope to see you soon again. I hope so. Bye bye. bye. Take care. Stay Take care too. Bye bye. Who is Asistente Gerencial? Rosa, yes, okay. And asistente, asistente de gerencia, who is that? What's your name? Carla, okay. Thank you. Okay, I'm missing Karina and Gerardo. Sorry, Medardo. All right, everyone, bye-bye, thank you.